welcome back to His Army R Squad. It's only been like almost six months, I think. I was looking um, back at my uh, last video. Um, and yeah, I think it's been just, just shy of six months since we did it. Um, sort of just stopped abruptly. I'm sorry for that. I, um, I guess a lot of reasons we were in the process of buying a house um, that, that um, ended up being really stressful. Um, just not the greatest experience that we've had in home buying, but so there was that. And then also we had, um, upon looking at like utilities and stuff to switch over to the new house, we found out that internet was gonna be an issue. And I'm using a selfie stick here, I'm gonna, oh, sorry. <laughs> anyway, the internet was gonna be a little bit of an issue because um, we're out in the country a little bit and um, we called all of the, all the local like internet places and none of them serviced our side of the road, go figure. So our only option um, that we could find anyway was like a satellite internet, like HughesNet, but it was crazy expensive. So we decided we were just gonna try using our hotspots off our phone. We get really good service out here. Um, so no issues there. So we thought, well, we're just gonna use the hotspots on our phone and see how that goes. So that's what we've been doing. But um, my thought was that I wouldn't be able to upload YouTube videos. Like it wouldn't, wouldn't be fast enough. Now. Um, it definitely will be much slower, but I think we have decided and realized that it could still be done, or at least we're going to find out anyway. So, um, I've been going back and forth actually probably just since maybe a month or so after moving here, trying to decide, do I want to still do these videos? Um, I do know that if, if I do them, I do want to at least get myself on a schedule, like, you know, say I'm going to post Tuesday and Thursday or whatever, just, I haven't figured out those days yet, but I want to give myself two or three days a week. I'm going to do a video. I'm going to get one posted. You know, even if I post or vlog throughout the week, I want days where I post them. So it's more on a scheduled basis. Um, before it was just very sporadic whenever I felt like it. Um, we bought the house, as you may see behind us. If you remember any of the previous videos, you saw a little bit of the inside. So we've been in here since the end of October. Um, so about four and a half months. And we love it. Um, we've done a lot of things. And I mean, my kitchen's not the cleanest right now, but I'll show you real quick because it's behind me. So this was our biggest project. Um, we gutted the kitchen. Okay, anyway. So um, like I said, we tore down, actually we gutted the whole kitchen down to just the studs. Um, and so we shiplapped, hi Kat. So we shiplapped the walls. Um, this is laminate countertops. And then we painted our cabinet. We bought cabinets from Home Depot, um, just honestly the cheapest ones. Painted them green, put new hardware on them. Um, and yeah, like I said, it's not super clean right now, but I love it. I'm very happy with it. We still have stuff to finish. The island hasn't been painted yet. Uh, around the window still needs to be done. We also got new light fixtures. Um, so that's the biggest project that we've done in here. Other than that, it's just been painting all the walls um, and all that. But Moving on, I think I'll probably share more about the inside later. Um, we are in Washington State, as you may remember, and we are right now in the middle of the coronavirus chaos. So um, it's a little crazy here. The um, children or kids are today, no, say Monday, say Monday, Kyle. Today's Monday. Mm -hmm. So today is actually, for every school in Washington State, it's their last day of school and they're off for six weeks. So schools have shut down for six weeks. Um, we just, our governor just declared uh, that all restaurants, bars, and like entertainment facilities, so I'm assuming that means like um, like movie theaters and maybe trampoline parks and that kind of thing. Um, those are all being closed. You'll only be able to do like takeout or delivery from restaurants. And then um, all metro parks have been closed. So like we have a, it has to get ice cubes right now. Okay, that's good, dude. <laughs> we have a, membership to what's called Northwest Trek. Um, and it's like an out, um, it's all outdoors and it's a wildlife refuge and it's beautiful and amazing and it's closed. So we, you know, we are, we were kind of self distancing ourselves. We have um, one child in our family who has a compromised immune system and just wanting to keep that child out of the hospital. I don't, I don't have fear of the coronavirus or that it's going to kill any of us quite honestly, but we do want to keep this child out of the hospital um, and, you know, we don't want anyone to get sick unnecessarily. So we are keeping our younger children home for sure, like away from everything. Um, and then just kind of pretty much just my husband and I are going out as necessary. Um, but you know, there's no teepee on the shelves, no meat, no, I mean, it's just, it's, it's a little crazy guys. So 
but it is what it is. So we're dealing with it. Nothing we can do about it. It's in God's hands. So, um, but the blessing is that we just had snow like two days ago. Go ahead. It's going to get more ice. We just, we just had snow like two days ago and we ended up getting like three and a half inches. It melted pretty quick. We still have a little bit, but today is 55 and sunny and we have like three days of 55 and then we have like four days of 60. So it is a beautiful week. So we are getting outside, <laughs> um, which we already, yes, we may go hiking one day. We already had planned on um, some stuff. So I'm going to put my shoes on and I'm going to take you guys outside and kind of show you what we're doing today and some of our plans. We've got some fun stuff this week. So we'll show you. <laughs> All right. So here you're outside. Um, so I'll just take you around a little bit and kind of show you what's going on. I'm probably gonna have to flip the camera out at some point, but um, as you can see, it's beautiful, sunny somewhere back there. Well, maybe more behind the house is a really amazing mountain view of Mount Rainier. And we actually want to chop down a couple trees so that we um, can actually see it from our house. So I'm going to flip the camera around and show you what we're doing. All right. So project number one over here is we've got like, I have to go really far back to see all this. So we've got this giant, I think again, previous video was in there, but this huge, what we call the workshop or garage. Um, and it needs, it's just not been organized since we moved in here. Things just get dumped everywhere. So that's number one. We are getting it organized. It does have a dirt floor. We're hoping to remedy that this summer um, and put concrete in, but it's huge and needs to be cleaned. So that's what my husband's working on right now. We have um, been blessed with some free wood. Hi huh, buddy. And so um, this is just kind of what's left of it. We need to, are you smashing pine cones? what we need to uh, chop up and get in our wood pile. And then all that back there is just junk. And so my husband's working on burning what he can right now. Um, we have a fire pit that I'll show you in a minute. So we got to get rid of all that. Um, we got, you got a snowball, right? Yeah. See, yeah. So some of our leftover I snow. I have one in the freezer. Oh, I thought you were gonna say you have one in your pocket because you touched your pocket. So garage, um, there's some leftover snow on the porch. Patio, whatever it's called, deck, there we go. So yeah, we got a fire pit over here, um, working on getting stuff burned. Nico, what are you getting? The embers. So Nico likes the embers. Um, so quick little update. Um, we no longer have our Great Dane, long story, but we just got this guy now and he is loving the freedom to, the <laughs> he's eating the embers. <laughs> he's eating the ashes that are flying out of the uh, fire pit, but just the freedom to run on this property and enjoy it. He's loving it. Nico. <laughs> anyway okay so next sorry all right so our big project our bigger big second big one besides just organizing the garage is we are getting chickens i'm gonna actually flip this real so we are getting chickens um wednesday, wednesday or thursday i'm not 100 sure which day we are gonna get i think eight um chickens to start with we want more than that probably i think we eventually want our flock to be around 15. <laughs> Sorry, I have a little bit. I don't have coronavirus. So I promise I have allergies. So I'm a little stuffed up, a little cough. Um, not that it'd be contagious to you, so it wouldn't really matter, right? But um, so our next, um, yeah, so the big thing that we're doing kind of over the next week, two weeks, is we are getting baby chicks Wednesday or Thursday. Um, again, I think eight. We'll see what actually happens. I'm a little afraid we'll end up getting more, but um, it definitely won't be less probably. So we're getting our chickens and then we're building a coop. Um, so we have everything ready for the baby chicks. Um, and they won't go into the coop for about four weeks. So we have plenty, <laughs> plenty of time to, uh, Don't burn Nico. To burn a turtle. Okay. Yes. Burn a turtle. Oh, oh, we're trying to burn turtles. Don't worry. It's just drawings of turtles, not real turtles. <laughs> anyway, so we are, um, going to be building a chicken coop so that that's ready for when the chicks are ready to move out outdoors. Um, so that's going to be a fun project and I'm just going to, and then we're doing a garden as well. However, we kind of, guys, <laughs> we're trying to decide this year, like this spring, do we want chickens or garden? Cause I, yes, I could probably do both, but I, I get overwhelmed with bigger projects. So I've never done either of these things. So they're very brand new. Um, so I feel like it's a big undertaking. So I only want to do one. So we're, we, we're going to do garden. Our growing season here in Washington is kind of short because well, it's cold and wet and yeah, we don't get a lot of sun. So, um, so really if I were going to do a garden, I should have already started, um, which I bought the stuff for it. I just never did it. I should have already started the seed starters and stuff. 
<laughs> Lauren is taking a picture of me vlogging. <laughs> Just don't put it on Instagram till I actually get the video up because then people are really gonna expect something. Or maybe I should have you do it to hold me accountable to actually get the video up. <laughs> anyway, so um, yeah, so we have a trampoline over here. I'm gonna show you in a minute that we're gonna have to move um, and we're gonna kind of just measure out. Um, we're making a- Wait, we're moving the trampoline? Yeah, because the chicken coop's going right here. Um, measure out like where the chicken coop's gonna go and all that. Where are you putting the trampoline? Probably just over there. No, because we, like people park right here. So I don't want to put it there. I'm putting it in the grass. Oh, the, no, dad doesn't want it in the grass because it kills it. Moving the trampoline. Yeah, I'm thinking just over there probably. I like the idea of putting it here, but I feel like people park there when they come to our house, so. Yeah. But they could come back. I don't know. We'll see. We might move it around a couple times until we find a spot we like it. But no, it's not going on the grass for sure. Um, we have lots of gravel area to put it. So that's that project. Okay, so the garden. So we do um, we kind of that way. Yeah, that way. <laughs> so we have an area. We know where we want to put our garden um, and we want to do back to Eden gardening. Um, and so when I show you that area, you'll see some cardboard boxes already laid down. I'm going to at least plot that out today and kind of plan where I want it to go um, so that we can also start composting, which is another thing we're doing. <laughs> she keeps taking pictures of me. So we're also going to start a compost pile today. So just lots of new things going on. Um, I, I love the idea of being able to homestead and, you know, one day we would like to have um, goats, chickens, a garden. That's probably the extent of it. I don't know if we'll ever go. Um, I don't know. I mean, we won't get horses. I don't think our land's quite big enough for that. Much to my daughter's dismay if she like makes a sad face over there. Um, <laughs> you know, I don't think we go as far as a cow or anything like that. I just don't quite feel like we have enough. A snowball just flew over my head. I could have quite enough property for that. And another snowball. There it goes. I think he's trying to hit Lauren. Are you trying to hit Lauren? Yeah. Oh, you missed. Ah! <laughs> so I thought I just did a whole video of like the kids throwing snowballs at me and showing you where the coop was. And then I realized I didn't actually press record. No, which I do all the time. So you didn't get to see them all throwing snowballs at me. Sorry. <laughs> Ew, are you eating it? It's probably dirty at this point, dude. Don't oh, eat it. it okay. Ew, stop putting it in your mouth. I was eating some. You guys are gross. Okay, Earlier. whatever. <laughs> So anyway, this is our, um, this is a well house right here. Like, you know, we have a, we're on a septic system I mean, a good area. <laughs> and a well. <clears throat> so that's our well house. Um, so right here, we felt like there's water hookups and electricity and stuff if we need it. So we feel like right here would be a good spot for the chicken coop. Um, and then the trampoline, I don't know, maybe over there. One of the areas you heard us just talking about a minute ago was like, so right here, which is, you know, right in front of our house. Um, and is generally like see the railroad ties there. It's a good spot for parking. So I don't know if I want to put the trampoline there, but we'll see. Um, so now I'll take you over here to our, where we're going to be having a garden. Um, so you'll see some boxes that I already set up here. Um, it's, this isn't how it's going to stay. I just was kind of getting them out, but realize I actually need to make rows so that I can walk in between. And, but we are doing back to Eden gardening. Um, so, okay. So um, anyway, sorry, got a little distracted. So this area, as far as just location, is seems perfect. However, you see our sun's fairly high up in the sky and yet it's still kind of shady. It's pretty sunny first thing or early in the morning as the sun's rising and it seems right now that it's kind of shady, which is a bummer. Um, it's just, I, I love all the trees and stuff on our property um, and you can see our neighbors right now, but once summer comes, um, once everything starts blooming, you can't see any of our neighbors. And I love that, but for gardening purposes, it might be an issue. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to kind of move things around in this garden today, I think. And, um, but the big thing is starting a compost pile, um, which I'm trying to decide right now where I'm going to do that, which I think I see where, um, but so we, we're going to, you know, like I said, we're not going to do the garden. I'm just going to get it kind of planned out for today. So I know where I want it. Um, kind of watching the sun, hoping that it's just at a weird angle right now. So we, our property, where our property sits, so the sun sets, um, <laughs> I don't know where to put my finger. The sun rises, um, where am I? Let's see, the sun sets and, or rises, excuse me, I'm all messed up. The sun rises at this angle in front of me, but it hits our um, trees up here um, in front of me. And then it kind of sets back there. So it's kind of an angle, which is great for inside our house. Uh, we won't get, well, so this corner right here, which is um, my boy's room, 
will get a lot of sun. Um, so their room might get pretty hot in the summer. But for the most part, the way the house is angled, we get a little sun in that window and a little in that window, and that's it. No of the other windows get sun. So it will keep it cool in the summertime, but our summers are short. And so that's not really, I mean, it's nice because we don't have AC, but um, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. So here's where I'm planning on, I think, putting my compost pile. All right, so I've got this nice spot. This is kind of, so there's, so I'm thinking the garden will probably come up here and kind of go in an L shape, come towards me. And then kind of behind it right here, we just got this dirt area, um, probably right in here actually, cause this goes to our, our dirt path. So probably right here. Um, and we got lots of dried leaves back here um, and stuff that we can grab. But I think right here will be our compost spot. I think it looks like it's gonna get sun. So it'll keep it warm and it should be good. The ground gets pretty wet over in here. And again, so much shade. I don't know, I don't want to cut down unnecessary trees, but those right there are right in the way. But I just don't want to cut them down. So anyway, that's what we'll be doing today. So I'll kind of take you along and show you a little bit. We, um, I'm gonna go get probably the wheelbarrow out right now and at least get the compost pile started. Um, getting our, our brown layer down and uh, starting to put, well, the leaves and all that and then, we'll add uh, the chicken junk to it to make it good. You know, all the chicken shavings and poop and stuff um, to fertilize it. So hopefully in a few months we'll have a good, and, we, and I'll just start my, my goal is to, as we get um, a compost pile done, I'm gonna keep probably a couple going at a time or I'll get one going till it's high enough and then I'll start a new one. Um, my hope, and we'll see, cause I'm new to this, so I may be like dreaming big time here. But my hope is to get enough compost to be able to cover my garden. So we will have the cardboard down, <coughs> excuse me, the cardboard down, and then we wanna put about four inches or so of compost, and then another three or four inches of like wood shaving, wood chips, which um, we have a friend who let us borrow a wood chipper and we have branches galore. So um, it will be good, good wood that we can put down in there. So that's kind of what we're doing today and I'll take you along with it as we go. absolutely beautiful day out here. I'm just so excited for this week. Um, so a friend just messaged me that, you know, what stores have what kind of food and stuff. And I am going to need to um, get a few things like meat is like, I don't have, oh, embers, <laughs> y'all stirred it up, man. And it's like, ugh, raining ashes, um, snowing ashes. But uh, so like the other day I went and I needed some chicken, like chicken breasts or even, I wouldn't even take thighs or whatever. Oh no, I had to get whole chickens, which isn't a big deal. It's definitely um, more economical. I don't mind, but it's just not always ideal to do it that way. But that's what we have. So um, I probably need to get inside and maybe put a chicken in the crock pot. But anyway, I have, we have a, a kind of a social thing yes i know we're doing social distancing but we're still going to friend's house tomorrow um people we trust we know we're clean so we're good with that but um you know we're doing it within reason not you know not taking our kids to big crowds and stuff trying to keep the crowds down there's a ban on crowds here anyway like 50 or less so we're not even sure what's going to be happening with church um at this point um kind of still waiting to hear more about that but anyway so i think that's it for today um well, we, I mean, we still have more to do, but I don't know how much footage I have. I always think I have way more, or sometimes I have um, way less than I thought to. So I might end up doing more. We'll see. But I do have to get to the store and get some meat, guys. Oh, I was saying, so a friend texts me and she's like, oh, this store has this and this store has this. And I'm literally have to go to like three or four different stores to get what I need probably. But oh, it's frustrating, but it's not much we can do about it, unfortunately. So 
just deal with it and pray that it all passes quickly. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we're just going to continue to be outside. We still have more stuff to get done and um, just plan on doing stuff throughout the week. And I cannot wait to get my chickens. I'm super excited. So, yep. And we'll definitely take you along as we build the coop. Um, we basically just looked at a few ideas online. I found one that I liked the best. I gave it to my husband and said, here you go, design it. Because nothing I could find was good. For some reason, all the ones I could find online were for like small flocks. And I know we want a bigger flock. Well, we have, you know, a family of eight, well, seven living at home still. So I'd like enough to at least, I'm not looking to make money off of them necessarily. I just want enough to feed our family, which from what I've understand is going to be like 10 to 15 chickens, I think. Can you have lunch? Yeah. What? Yeah. I haven't eaten yet too. I might go inside and make some food. Well, so I just looked and I have enough footage for a video. So I'm just going to kind of close it out here. We will still probably do a lot of work. My Mitchell and I think are hiding from me. Oh, anyway. So we still have a lot of work that we're going to get done outside. And um, yeah, just all week stuff to do. So but I'm going to close it out now. And that way I can, oh, we don't even have a computer up. Like, yeah, I don't even have a computer up to edit right now. Another project. Um, so We'll have to just set it up somewhere, maybe in the bedroom or something. So I'll get it done. So yeah, I will We'll try to get it up and on to YouTube would be my goal. I have taken so many videos <laughs> over the last couple months thinking I'm going to start this again and then they never actually I'll make it. I'll post the photo and then you have to. And then they never make it on to YouTube. Right. Well, that's it for today. So don't forget to... Like, comment, subscribe, and comment. She said, yes, comment. She said comment. comment. She was right. Oh, okay. Anyway, <laughs> and share our videos with others. And hopefully we can get a lot more subscribers and get this uh, channel up and running again. Thanks so much. Bye.